Hello there, Mandy. Okay, let's have a look. So, first of all, when we're looking at task one, you always want to just see who you're writing to. That's going to direct and guide you as to what register if you're going to write formal, informal, or neutral. In this case, it looks as though we're a little bit on the formal side, but that's fine. Uh, it's better to be more on the formal side. But let's go. So we need a comma here. Dear sir or madam, comma. Writing this letter in regards to a summer job that I would like to apply for at your restaurant. Okay, excellent. Don't need the comma there. But otherwise, that is a perfect 100% start. Grammatically accurate and it's the right tone and we usually always start our letters off by writing what we intend or what we want from the letter. And the evening managing here, I'm almost two years now. Okay, here refers to what? Your restaurant? Why would you be, in which case you would, if you're already working there, then you're requiring a promotion, which is not really the situation okay there's nothing to do about an internal promotion here so uh, maybe just delete that sentence okay okay yeah because it's very unclear which is here I assumed restaurant so yeah it just needs to be deleted that I'm currently working at an American restaurant as a full-time employee. I can talk fluently with all the workers. Okay. I also have the ability to understand different accents. Great. Okay, so we've got a short sentence here. That's fine. If we use too many short sentences, it gets choppy, but using a variety, such as long ones and short ones, is the best way to go. I am the evening managing here for almost two years now. Okay, for for a duration and then from 1998 or 2020, for example, to the present, if we wanted to go that way. Be careful with your punctuation. That's the second easy mistake. This needs to be a comma. Third mistake uh, that's going to cost you points. So if you could hire me as a morning manager due to the fact that I wish to work in that position. Okay, so the argument here is not strong enough. Okay, your argument is due to the fact that I want to work that position. I wish to work. That's not good. Okay. Um, here, I would write something like money management due to the fact that I am a huge fan of your morning menu or I am a um, enthusiastic customer of your morning menu and would love to participate in uh, making morning meals or breakfast meals, whatever. I enjoy having conversations with the customers. Okay, be careful. Uh, I would have written this like, I have a good nature with the customers. Um, I'm very, very customer orientated and past, and my current manager believes that I have a good nature in attending to their needs. Yeah. Therefore, giving them the best possible service during their visit. Perfect sentence. Here, enjoy having conversations. That could be interpreted as like, oh, he's a chatterbox and he just wants to talk. It's all talk, no work. So just be careful here what we're saying. I'm well aware of the manager responsibilities such as scheduling employees' work hours every week, comma, good. Working as a role model for the staff members as well as resolving difficult situations that require the attention from the manager. Okay, a positive reply from you. Soon yours faithfully, Mandy. Excellent. Okay, we could have done a little bit better here because I'm a fan of your men morning menu, whatever, X, Y, Z. Previous experiences and related skills. Excellent. Okay. Okay. So here I would have put this together in one paragraph. Yeah. Um... I am well aware of the managing of the manager responsibilities, such as I currently do very similar. I currently have, yeah, or in my previous work, in my previous jobs, I've currently performed very similar tasks. Okay, 
Um, so yeah, still a little bit of work to do there, Mandy, but it is improving. I think I'd put this at a six. These days, problems with pollution are becoming very westernized. What are the reasons for this? Body paragraph one. How can this be solved? Body paragraph two. In large metropolitan cities, the issues due to the high concentration of pollution are rising. Beautiful. This essay is going to provide the primary reasons for this problem as well as some solutions to overcome this. Okay, we don't need the from in there. Also, this is an empty sentence. Okay, we need to take, I can put that into an essay about social media bullying. So we need to say this essay will, is the formal way of saying it, will provide the primary reasons for inner city pollution. Okay as well as some solutions such as car sharing to overcome this or these now, okay? To overcome these issues. So we need to tailor the sentence. To begin with, the advanced cities are in huge... Okay, so we've gone for a five paragraph model. I'm not a fan of that. I think body paragraph, a uh, two body paragraphs is sufficient because then we can really fully develop the points. To begin with, the advanced cities are in huge demand by labor or by labor forces due to the fact of large-scale production to meet the necessity okay there's too much information here okay or or we have to be a little bit more specific to begin with the la the advanced cities are in huge demand from the labor force due to the large scale okay due to the large amount of production facilities situated near the cities Okay, I guess that's what we need. Putting buyers in there, just developing it too far for one sentence. Okay, so we're saying there's a large demand of work in the city because there's a large amount of production there. Okay, we don't need to say why the production is there. That's nothing to do with this essay. Okay, the employers hire individuals from the small towns to work for these big companies by offering them. Okay, so this sentence, Mandy, I want you to do this with your next essay. Okay, small, we can say minor. We're going to improve the vocabulary. Major, we're going to say, instead of big. And then here we're going to say excellent. And there we've just upgraded our language from, you know, among, from among using the first words we learn in the English language to more advanced, sophisticated, academic vocabulary. Okay. The employers hire individuals from the small towns to work for these big companies by offering them. Okay, so we didn't ever say that the big companies are located in the cities, okay? In some countries, the big companies are so big that they just locate wherever they want. Um, and they maybe even have campus facilities. So this is a little bit um, incoherent. And also it needs hedging, as I said last time. So we say, the employers often hire individuals from small towns to work for these big and therefore a number of people that populate in large cities causing okay so let's see okay employers often hire often attract individuals from smaller at least use the superlative from, from minor towns often hire from this no the employers often hire individuals that come from smaller towns to work for major companies, comma, employees are attracted by the large, by the major, by the significant um, payment promises or by the significant salary benefits. Okay, a yearly package is the salary. So let's just use salary. And for a number of people are populating large cities and then this causes, okay, let's just pace it. This causes, or uh, we can say causing environmental damage by using their vehicles to travel to the workplace for, for their everyday commute. To illustrate, vehicles produce large amounts of smoke due to the combustion of diesel. Okay, okay. Um, so here's some advice. One, the vocabulary, two, We've got a reasonable argument. So your argument is on topic. What are the reasons for this? Okay. Uh, we just needed to organize it a little bit more 
uh, a little stronger and we also uh, just needed to be aware of the grammar so there's a few issues there another reason is the way it's coming out of the industry such as plastic okay which industries okay um we said the industries but we're not saying any specific ones previously so out of so we should say the so waste coming out of um manufacturing industries such these wastes include plastic harmful chemical systems and smoke from chimneys that is causing severe damage to the environment excellent little phrase there severe wonderful phrase moreover the production of these are in high scale because of increasing population every day okay so we need to put sort of like some kind of context here are we talking about india china because this isn't the case in the uk the the population isn't increasing so i'm assuming it might be true for your country so you need to sp specify this okay um add some context there Furthermore, to produce more products, these companies are increasing, which results in increasing heat. Okay, so we've gone a little bit off topic here because we're really looking at the pollution in larger cities. Okay, um, we could put in a rescue sentence and link it back to increasing to, to increasing pollution in cities, but we didn't, so that's why it's a little bit off topic. There are a number of solutions to minimize this for example again this is an empty sentence you've got to make your sentences topic relevant for example reducing the amount of cars on the roads by carpooling with co-workers right okay let's just verb use a verb by carpooling with co-workers oops it is here. there we go this will subsequently help in lowering the pollution through the traffic beautiful okay this is a great argument. Now, if I were you, I would develop this argument further in a hypothetical sense. If more people carpooled, if more people shared their cars, then the pollution would almost certainly continue to decrease. Or if the government promoted more carpooling schemes, okay or whatever but we develop the argument in a hypothetical sense so we can use the conditional grammar structures and improve our score trees plays important okay so rather than going on about a different topic okay just develop one and develop it in the strongest possible way to summarize major cities are contributing so much in building up pollution so much is a little bit more like spoken english contributing considerably in uh cons okay large cities are contributing significantly to building up pollution okay waste from waste car exhaust waste from automobiles and high level manufacturing companies are the reasons for this issue are the reasons are the major reasons for this pollution it's possible that to decrease the harm which has already been done to the environment by um car poolings by car sharing schemes are further backed by government um programs or regulations whatever we decided to say here so i would put this at a 6.56 there's a lot of grammar errors in uh, uh we need to improve the vocabulary as i said and we need to squeeze in some more grammatical forms and the hypothetical ways of do, doing that is better also for your next essay have a look at a four paragraph model okay we've got your introduction body paragraph one body paragraph two and this usually develops a more balanced essay because here we've got two uh, we've got 100 percent more paragraphs for the source of the problems and only one paragraph again for the solution so ideally we have one for the problem one for the solution it's a little bit more balanced okay mandeep uh fantastic work keep on working keep moving forward and again i apologize for the late turnaround um perhaps send me an email to teaching at mcww consulting uh, when you send an email and i'll get around to it far faster thank you very much and have a super day